Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda has instructed a minister to draw up new standards for nuclear safety. The standards are a precondition for restarting two reactors at a nuclear plant on the Japan Sea coast. The Nuclear Safety Commission is conducting stress tests on Japan's nuclear power plants. Last month, it favorably assessed the first round of stress tests on the reactors at the OE nuclear plant in Fukui Prefecture. Noda and three ministers discussed the commission's assessment. The ministers were briefed by the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency on the findings of its investigation into the nuclear crisis at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Some of the ministers said the proposed safety standards are not clearly defined. Noda instructed Industry Minister Yukio Edano to come up with new standards for nuclear safety. Even if we can confirm the safety of the plant, it will take some time to obtain residents' approval for restarting it. Noda and the three ministers are to meet again later this week to discuss the necessary safety measures. Northern Japan is bracing for stormy weather. A powerful low-pressure system is approaching the region after causing damage in many parts of the country. Three people were killed and at least 305 injured due to strong winds on Tuesday. The low-pressure system over the Sea of Japan has brought strong winds to both the west and east of the country. Wind speeds reached 130 kilometers per hour in a Tokyo suburb and 106 kilometers per hour in the center of the capital. The winds died down in the late evening, but rough seas along the Pacific coast are forecast for some time. The low-pressure system is affecting Niigata Prefecture on the Sea of Japan coast. Winds of up to 135 kilometers per hour were observed on Sado Island in Niigata on Tuesday night. The meteorological agency is urging people in northern Japan to stay indoors and watch out for gusts, high waves, and lightning. Can you believe that? I'm not shitting you. That's how absurd it is. Tokyo Electric Power Company has revealed that the March 11th damaged a critical... Nuclear fuel likely melted down. They also have been damaged by the quake. Nuclear fuel likely melted down. May also have been damaged by the quake. Nuclear fuel likely melted down. May also have been damaged by the quake. Nuclear fuel likely melted down. May also have been nuclear fuel. Nuclear says the drop in pressure is consistent with analysis that the piping system was damaged. Nuclear fuel likely melted down. They also have been damaged plants most important safety features. Now the utility has not yet found the cause of the stoppage. Be damaged. It's still unable to function. The system it must be damaged. Yeah,
Seeds from plants in northeastern Japan have been donated to Britain as a reminder of last year's earthquake and tsunami. The Japanese embassy in Britain organized a donation ceremony at the Royal Botanic Gardens in London. About 100 people attended the event. They included British rescue workers who went to the disaster hit areas and two school children who survived the tsunami. The children donated pine seeds. They're the same type as the only surviving pine on the coast of Bikuzen Takata in Iwate Prefecture. We are very grateful to the British people for helping us out. We'd like to return the favor and do our best. The coastal city was famous for its 70,000 pine trees. Only one tree survived and became a symbol of resilience for the local people. But it's been damaged by salt water. Conservationists have given up attempts to keep it alive. They're trying to preserve it by growing its cuttings. The participants also planted Zilkova trees, which has become the symbol of disaster hit Miyagi and Fukushima prefectures. I think the seed and the trees we've just planted are, are both symbols of hope. The seeds will be kept at the garden's seed bank that was set up to preserve wild plants from around the world. I appreciate the tenor of the conversations. Uh, I think it will actually yield results uh, before the end of the year, and I look forward to continuing this dialogue in the months ahead. Thank you very much, everybody.